Once upon a time in village called Govindapuram there were two thieves called Kannaya and Kittaya but due to Kattappa a man hired by the prince Surendra Verma the thieves are too scared to steal no matter how skilled the thieves are Kattappa will catch them and imprison them Kannaya and Kittaya have a conversation Listen Kittaya we have to be very cautious when we steal in this kingdom no matter how intelligently we steal Krishna Park catches us and the punishment that we might get is horrific. You are right Kannaya, fearing that thieves like us have quit stealing and they have started to looking for jobs. Yes, therefore we shall also quit stealing. What do you say it sounds good but I do not know anything else other than stealing. What do we do now? We shall ask someone for a job and work. It is better to live this way than living in fear. Sure, we shall do that. But everyone who knows in this village will never give us a job. How will we survive then? In the neighboring town, there is Bosami Appal Raj. He is looking for men to look after his land and cows. Let us go and ask him for a job. If it is in another village, it is a good idea, as they would give us a job as they do not know about us. Let us go. They both decided to leave their job and to go to their nearby village to meet Mr. Boswami. Boswami looks at both of them and he says, "Who are you guys? I have never seen you in this village before." "Sir, my name is Kannaya and this is my friend Kittaya. We come from a village nearby. We heard that you need men to tend your garden and your cows. That is why we came here. We are from a poor family. Please give us a job and help us." "I shall give you a job, but you must work really hard." But you do not seem like hard working men. Please give us a chance and we shall prove it to you. We shall do whatever work you have for us. We wish to work hard and look after our families. Please give us work. All right. I don't want your history. Let me tell you what the job is. I have a herd of cows and I want one of you to clean the cows. Take the cows to graze the grass and stay till the evening and bring it back. This is your regular job. Understood sir. I shall take this job. I will take good care of the cows. Okay, good, good. The second job is to take water from the well and water all the trees in the garden. Even if one leaf dries out, I will not be happy. Okay? Yes, sir. I shall take the job. Please trust us. All right. I shall give you meals 3 times a day and place to stay and I shall give you two bags of paddy for a year. If you would like, you can start working right now. What else do we need to wait for, sir? We shall start working right now. After hearing the rules set by Boswami, both men start their work. In the first day morning, Kannaya takes the cows to the graze the fields. The cows gives Kannaya a lot of trouble. As they keep fighting and running around, they also enter other people's fields. Kannaya works hard to control them. On the other side, Kittaya fetches water from the well and starts watering the trees. But no matter how much water he pours, it wouldn't be sufficient the trees. Kittaya's arms would start to hurt. By the time he finishes it, would become evening. On that night, Kanaya and Kittaya talk about their experience with their jobs. Kittaya, how was your job today in the garden? For me, I got along with the cows. They did not trouble me at all. I let them graze in the fields while I was sleeping under a tree. I did not even feel like I worked. After that in the evening they all gathered towards me by themselves. Listening to the noises of their ankle chain, I woke up and brought them back here. I really like this job. Kannaya lies by hiding how much he struggled with the cows as he speaks to Kittaya. Kittaya gets sad that he did not get a job like that. Yet He also tells Kanaya that he did not struggle in the garden during his job as well. Even my job is pretty easy Kanaya. The reason is because the garden is too small. I went in the morning and took four buckets of water and I watered all the trees and since I had nothing to do I peacefully slept in a cot underneath a tree. Great. That means both of our jobs are easy. Okay. Why don't you take the cows tomorrow and I will water the trees in the garden. Kittaya gets really happy hearing what Kanaya said realizing that he does not have to fetch water all day to water the trees he says to Kanaya All right that's a good idea let me take care of the cows and you can tend to the garden one more thing if it is hard for you to sleep in the fields you can take the cot as well you will get good sleep in it 
Kanaya says that because he is glad that he does not have to look after the cows anymore. The next day, both Kanaya and Kitaya switch their jobs. Kanaya starts watering the trees and Kitaya tends to the cows. By the evening, both of them realizes how difficult both the jobs are and they think, What is this? Didn't Kanaya mention that there is barely any work to do in the garden? But my hands are red from my fetching water again and again. Which means Kitaya lied to me and fooled me. Realizing Kanaya gets angry on Kitaya. On the other side, Kitaya who was struggling with the cows thinks to himself. Kanaya told me that the cows did not trouble him and that I could sleep. But running after these cows which do not stay in one place is difficult for me. How could I sleep? Which means Kanaya tricked me into believing his falsehoods. Both men realizes that they lied to each other as they kept working till the evening. While Kanaya kept watering one trunk of a mango tree, no matter how many times he poured water on the spot, it kept drying up. Kanaya was keen on finding out what was underneath the soil by night time. While they both were laying down in the night and they spoke. What Kitaya? Did you sleep well while tending to the cows? Yes, I did. I slept very well. You also must have slept very well in the garden. Am I right? Yes, I did not work at all. I slept very well. All right, let us go to sleep now. We have to get up in the morning and work, right? Even though both men realize that they have lied to each other, they pretend as though nothing happened and they act like they fell asleep. In the middle of the night, Kanaya gets up and checked whether Kitapa has slept. Then he takes a crowbar and goes to the field to find out what is in that spot. As Kanaya keeps digging deep, he hears a noise as he hits his crowbar in the soil. Kanaya looks around to see if anyone is there, but he is immediately shocked to see Kitaya standing right behind him. What is happening, Kanaya? What are you doing here in the middle of the night? Ha! Huh, nothing, Kitaya. This tree is not receiving proper water. Since I am unable to sleep, I am doing this work. I will be back. You go and sleep. But I heard something while you were digging. The noise came from the ground. What? You heard a noise? I did not hear anything. You must have imagined you heard something as you are half asleep. All right. Why don't you come back? It is so dark out here. You might get bite by some insects. We will do the work tomorrow. All right, let's go and sleep. Both of them lay down. Kanaya thinks about the noise he heard while digging as he falls asleep. As soon as Kanaya starts snoring, Kitaya wakes up, silently takes the crowbar and starts digging under the mango tree to find several pots of treasure. This shocks Kitaya. Oh Kanaya! You try to steal these treasure pots all by yourself. You try to cheat me. Okay, now I am going to take it all. I have to hide it somewhere. Kitaya takes the pots of treasure. He looks around to make sure there are no people and he hides it in a pit nearby a river. He gets back to sleep and pretends as though nothing happened. Kanaya wakes up in the morning, takes the crowbar and goes to the trunk of the tree. But he sees a huge hole in the same spot he dug last night. It seemed as though something was taken from the hole. What? There seems to be treasure taken away from the hole. Kitaya must have taken it. Kitaya, you have fooled me. You did what you did. Yet you act as though nothing happened and you sleep next to me. He must have hide it somewhere. I can find if I search for it. And when Kanaya came back, he saw Kitaya's leg covered in wet sand, which made him think that he would have hide it nearby a river. Kanaya immediately goes to the nearby river. Kitaya should have hide the treasure somewhere over here. It looks like someone has walked over the pit here. That means Kitaya should have definitely buried it over here. As he thinks, Kanaya searches for the treasure in the pit and finds it. Once he finds it, he takes the treasure, carries it on his shoulder and travels to his village. 
After a while, Kittaya wakes up and realizes that Kanneya is not there. Where did Kanneya go this early in the morning? Oh my God! Did he find out about the treasure I had? It's not possible. Immediately, Kittaya runs to the river to find the treasure he hided last night. But the treasure is not there. Kanneya has definitely taken the treasure. Where could he have gone? Other than his village, I can catch him if I move fast. Kitaya travels towards his village to find Kanneya. From afar, he could see Kanneya walking with the treasure pots without a care in the world. After seeing this, Kitaya says, "I have to take the treasure pots from him somehow. I have to get ahead of him." Kitaya gets an idea. He takes a shortcut from a field to get ahead of him. Away from Kanaya's sight, Kitaya goes ahead of him and places on slipper on the path and another slipper 100 feet away. He hides behind a bush awaiting Kanaya. Kanaya finds it difficult to carry the treasure pots as he notices a slipper in front of him. He does not pay any attention to it and he keeps moving forward. But when he sees the second slipper, which is a pair of the first slipper, Kanaya gets a thought. There is another slipper here. I think the slipper that I had seen before is the pair of same slipper. Someone has left it on the way. If I go and get back the first slipper, I can use a new pair of slippers. I don't know how, but I am so lucky today. I am getting everything for free. Kanaya takes a look around to see if anyone is there. As he places the treasure pot down, he then goes to get the first slipper. Kitaya watches this and, without making noise, takes the treasure. He walks back as fast as he could to reach his house. When Kanaya came back with the pair of slippers, he could not find the treasure pot. Oh God, my treasure pots! I left them here. Who would have taken it? This must definitely be Kitaya's job. He has been cheating me from the start. I have to do something to him today. I think he must definitely be in his house. He concluded Kitaya was the culprit. Kanaya kept scolding Kitaya as he walked back to his house. But all he could hear was cries from the house. And when he entered the house, he could see Kitaya's corpse on the ground. He was shocked and asked Kitaya's wife, "What happened to Kitaya? He was with me last night. What happened to him?" His wife says that Kitaya died because he was bit by a snake. Thinking that Kitaya is pretending to be dead to get away with stealing the treasure pots, Kanaya tells his wife, "Ma'am, I like Kitaya very much. We grew up together, and he likes me too. In that case." Kitaya would have also say that Kanaya, if I ever die, you should be the one to do my funeral rites. But really, I did not expect this to happen. At that time, Kitaya was acting like a dead body. He knows very well Kanaya is lying to his wife, does not move a muscle, and stays still. Kanaya got confused without knowing what else to do in order to find his treasure pots. Kanaya says. And one more thing, ma'am. Kitaya also told me to get the pyres ready so that I can set it up for his funeral ceremony. As soon as Kanaya said this, the fear of Kanaya burning him while he is still alive makes Kitaya stand up. Look here, Kanaya. Please forgive me. You wanted to steal all the treasure for yourself, leaving me with nothing, and that is why I fooled you as well. So now we are even. Yes, I came here to say that as well. Why should we fight and why should we cheat each other? We have two treasure pots. I shall take one and you take one. Since we have left stealing, we shall use this treasure to start a business and prosper. What do you say? Why would I disagree with what you said? I'll do whatever you say. We shall do business and live happily. From that day onwards they both stopped lying and stealing they used the treasure to start a business and made money in a honest way if you do like this story please do a like and share for more interesting videos please subscribe our new stories english book